All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Minecraft Feed the Beast game here. Now, we've come into the world this morning with, oh, god, monsters everywhere, including a skeleton in there, and a creeper that magically blew up and only took out those few small blocks. Not entirely sure how he managed that one. But let's, uh, let's take out this guy right here. Oh, well, he was almost dead to begin with. And let's try and fix this. Still not sure how a creeper only took out, well, I guess, like, four blocks. And I'll replace these later. But yeah, I really hate creepers. So this episode, we are going to be very productive, because last, we went on an adventure and basically sort of forgot about things here. So first off, I want to mess around with this hoe of growth that I found in the burial mound. Now, I... D oh, God, another creeper. Now, I did discover exactly what this does. It essentially acts like bone meal. So if I go to these crops here, bam, they're grown. There we go, they're grown again. And I really don't like that creeper, but we're going to avoid him. So yeah, I basically went through and grew all of these things, or <laughs> these things, these uh, uh, wheat fields here, and uh, then harvested them. And surprisingly, the hoe of growth did not lose a whole lot of charge, so this thing should last me a while, I think. And it's quite nice, it'll definitely keep up my food supply, and eventually I may experiment a bit with biofuel. So it'll be good for that as well. We can use wheat for that type of fuel. So first off, we're going to head to the tower here and go down the Pit of Doom. Well, actually, let me check my inventory. Yes, I do have my turtles. I built a few uh, new turtles uh, just before starting up this episode because I want to use them down here. Now, this is the tunnel that we had one of our turtles build. And I ended up making it go back 40 spaces so that we have a nice big area here. And originally, I was going to place a quarry down here. But my plans for that have changed at the moment. Is apparently, uh, Greg Tech is a part of the Minecraft mod. And Greg Tech likes to make things much more difficult. And apparently the... Well, I want to get this correct, so let's bring up the quarry in the NEI. Uh, the quarry requires the diamond drill, which needs titanium. And titanium is a bit out of our reach at the moment. We can basically make everything except for the advanced diamond drill, because we do not have titanium. And that requires, oh, so many things to be built before I can really obtain that. So, we're going to go with what I normally like to do instead of quarries, and that's mining turtles. Turtles are extraordinarily cheap to build, as you know, we saw in a previous episode. It's basically some redstone, and some glass, and some uh, smooth stone. And we can just pop these guys down, and oh, I forgot coal again. So, jump cut. Alright, we have the coal now. Sorry about that, guys. Every time I put down a mining turtle, I always forget to actually bring coal with me. So, <laughs> there we go. We have coal now, and what we are going to do is just run the excavate program, and we're going to do it ten spaces. So... Uh, this little turtle will start to dig a 10 by 10 area as far as he can go down. And this is generally what I do instead of quarries, because quarries have just always been kind of a pain in my mind. They take a while to put up and get all the materials for, whereas this can be done very early on. I mean, you barely need any materials, really, to get turtles up and running. And they just keep going and going. Now let's fill up this hole right here so we can actually set this guy down. And last bit of fuel. All right. Now each of these turtles is going to go 10 back that way, then 10 over, 
and keep going down, down, down until they run out of fuel. And it is wonderful. So basically, this is going to be the equivalent of a 10 by 40 quarry. And this is why I like turtles. <laughs> you can build them quick and just let them go and have fun. So let's come back up this way. I should have popped a portal before going down here. Because so we are going to head back to the machine shop. And as I said, we're going to be productive this episode since we did the burial mound last time and lost an episode worth of advancement. And we are going to get two machines going here today. A compressor and an extractor. These are two additional machines that are going to help us really move forward in our well, building of even better machines and eventually help us to build the arcology. Now, so... We are going to need a few basic things. We're going to need a lot of wiring, because we're going to have to build chips. Uh, we're going to need redstone, as also for those chips. I think that should be enough for fined iron. Where is my smooth stone? There we go. And uh, I, I think I should actually have everything here. Um, there we go. We will get the compressor going first. Yes, so we need a machine block, smooth stone, and an electric circuit. So let us go up here. Now uh, we should probably build the circuit first. I did grab wires, right? Oh yeah, they're down here, okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and get both the ones that we need. There we go. Oh, yes, it would help to put more wiring. It's about to say, like, why didn't it only produce one? Oh, there we go. A little more intelligence, please, Matthew. Da, da, da. Or wait. Nope, I need a machine block there. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, it's one of those days today. Put that there, and then... There we go, we have our compressor built. And what this will do is we are going to use it to make diamonds, essentially, is what I mainly use it for. But it, it can do a whole lot of other things uh, at the moment. I'm actually forgetting what they are. But mainly, diamonds. Uh, we can... And it goes along with this macerator here. We can put coal into here to make coal dust. And we can put the coal dust into the compressor to make... Oh, I forget what it makes then. Uh, I think like coal wafers or something like that. And then you combine that with obsidian, and then you run it through the compressor again, and you eventually get diamonds. It's a bit of a lengthy process, but a very, very useful one. And so now we are going to build... Oh, it would help if I put them in the right spot. We are going to build an extractor... And what the extractor does is it takes the resin that you collect from the trees. Let me remember exactly how to build this thing. And it will take one resin and turn it into two rubber. So much like the macerator helping us to extend our ore supply, this helps us extend our rubber so that we can get more than we normally could otherwise. There we go. We'll put this extractor right here. You can also use the extractor to empty out cells. Like eventually you can get like hydrogen cells and things like that and you can if you don't need them, you can put them into the extractor and it will empty whatever object it is and just give you back the empty cell. So actually I can show you that real quick. Well, not that, but the extractor in general with the resin, as I did collect a lot of resin uh, earlier before the episode. And these two machines are low voltage machines, so they only take 32 EUs per tick of power, which is what this bat box outputs, as you can see right here. Now, once we get to more advanced machines, you start needing more power, and that comes from the larger 
you know, MFSU and MFE and things like that. So we just put this into the extractor and see it is going to start moving very, very slowly. Oh, actually, I should grab even more coal here. Whoop, that's not the right one. So I am going to put the coal into the macerator so we can start getting that coal dust that we need so we can begin to start making diamonds. And we also need that as it helps you to make, I believe it's you know, called carbon plating or something along those lines. Let's look, because eventually I want to build solar panels. And there, yes, the carbon plates. So you make those from raw carbon mesh, which you get from coal dust. So you take coal dust, make it into carbon fiber, and then you make that to carbon mesh, and eventually you get a carbon plate. It's a uh, oh, wonderful order of operations for building some more and more advanced machines. And you use those same carbon plates, I believe, in the making of diamonds in the compressor. There are a lot of other uses for all of these machines as well, and we will get to them in other episodes. But yes, as you can see, we are getting some good rubber here. Let's see. There we go. Oh, so it's producing three rubber per one sticky resin. That's, I thought it was two. That's nice. So yes, that greatly increases our rubber supply, which is going to be useful because we need a lot of wiring. <laughs> oh, so many machines to build still. <laughs> but it's good times. It's good times. Oh, I didn't mean to actually put that up there. So we will let these machines keep going. I just want to go check on our friends over here in the tunnels, see how well they are doing. I don't know why I keep going through this top bit, but hey... I can fly, so why not go through the roof? <laughs> All right. Ooh, what the? That one's already come back? Oh, he ran out of space. There we go, yeah. So once they run out of space, they will come back up and plop things into these chests and then return to their mining. Hmm, he hasn't returned yet. He got quite a bit... Ooh, he collected a lot of nice things as well. And he has not returned yet. And yes, these guys will continue going down for quite a ways. And uh, give to me all the delicious loot that they find. Ooh, he just came back up. What did he get? Ah, we're getting some nice shards. So we might have to try out a little bit of Thomcraft here. We are finding a fair few. I actually believe, that, yeah, there's some more shards right here. I still need to get this stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that one of these days. Yeah, I probably won't. I'll forget. <laughs> Ooh, did I just hear glass break? Oh, no, that was probably a quartz shard. One of them breaking that open. Close the pit of doom. So, yes, we have been very productive this episode. We have a um, little semi-quarry going with mining turtles. That should get us a lot of wonderful materials. And we got two new machines operational, both of which low power machines, only needing the 32 EU. So we still don't need to build a MFSU quite yet. Oh god, what exploded? And where? Oh god. Hmm. That wasn't something back this way, was it? Oh, it wasn't one of my machines, I hope. Let's go and check the machinery. Now the machinery's going. Power's still going. Yeah, if you supply the wrong kind of power to machines, they will explode. <laughs> Just a little side note. So where... Oh, there must have been a creeper exploding somewhere. Oh god, I hope he didn't destroy anything important. Whoop. Oh, I need to fly around to find out. <laughs> okay, let's make sure that that explosion didn't open up any of these buildings. I don't need my villagers getting slaughtered. No, actually, everything looks fine. The world of... 
Hmm. Okay. Well, that explosion scared me. <laughs> but it doesn't... Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to have actually affected anything. Thankfully. Oh, God, I hate creepers. <laughs> <laughs> all right so yes yeah, so that is the end of this episode i hope you all enjoyed as i certainly did we got a lot done today and we will be getting even more done in the next episode we'll get a few more machines operational and hopefully reap all the spoils of our wonderful mining turtles so yes i hope to see you next time and have a good one